not have been there. And of course, one of the issues there in the Civil War was would the U.S. be a low wage economy, including slavery? Or would it be a high-wage economy? Unfortunately, for a while, the high-wage economy won out. But since then, that has been called back into uh, question again by all of these neo-Confederates running around, right? And here we are. It's the Gettysburg Thanksgiving and the 150th anniversary of Sherman's March to the Sea. And very soon, we'll be getting into the the final battles, the apocalyptic final phase of the war in the West, meaning the Mississippi Valley, the defeat of the Confederates at Franklin by Schofield, and then the annihilation of Hood's Confederate army at the Battle of Nashville in December. Uh, and some guy contacted me a few years ago. He was part of the the Pro Hood uh, Memorial Society. So I have to say, I really, I, I can't really uh, have anything to do with that because this is so, so much against my values. Uh, Thomas, how the Rock of Chickamauga became the sledgehammer of Nashville from Virginia. And we have another good Virginian on the list this, this week. We have John Marshall, the great chief justice who shows us that uh, the purpose of this government is to promote the general welfare. And we'll get to that, too, if we can. Otherwise, I refer you to my interview with Tom Kiley yesterday on INN World Report. But as I was saying, on, on Saturday of last week, a week ago when you're hearing this for the first time, U.S. weighs CIA aid to Syrian fighters. Accelerating training and weapons assistance would fill the gap as a similar Pentagon program takes shape. So in other words, the, the idea of training the so-called free Syrian army, non-existent, uh, subliminal man there, non-existent. Um, but in the meantime, the CIA should try. <laughs> so right now, with Obama out of town, we see the schemers, and I smell Allen and Petraeus. The Obama administration has been weighing plans to escalate the CIA's role in arming and training fighters in Syria, a move aimed at accelerating covert U.S. support to moderate rebel factions, non-existent, while the Pentagon is preparing to establish its own training bases. Now, this is interesting in itself that they say this. Uh, the problem, of course, is uh, we are told that uh, one group has already gotten tow missiles, uh, light arms. One group called Harakat Hazm, H-A-Z-M, was among a select group of units to be given U.S.-made tow anti-tank missiles. But then we find that some of them have been overrun and... They've taken the weapons. The latest setback when the, came this month when CIA-backed factions were routed by Jabhat al-Nusra, al-Qaeda, the al-Qaeda affiliate in Syria. Fighters with militia, including Harakat Hazm, one of the biggest recipients of U.S. arms, fled positions in U.S. in towns across northern Syria while leaving many of their U.S.-supplied weapons to be scooped up by Jabhat al-Nusra, and that's Harakat Hazm that got these tow missiles that are now in the hands of al-Nusra. Isn't that enough? But then, at the end of the article, what do we find? Who is quoted? Marine Corps General John R. Allen, the administrator's coordinator for the Syria and Iraq coalition. Here we call him the ISIS czar. In an interview with Al Jazeera last month, he said there's going to be fighting in Syria that we cannot necessarily predict. <laughs> That's putting it mildly, General. The hope is, he says, U.S. trained forces will be able to hold their own against Assad, against Nusra and other groups. We're dealing with the com with the uh, ISIS component first because we must. They're a threat to our allies. They're a threat to us. Well, <laughs> fire this guy. Fire him. He's a security risk. I have put out a statement last week about this. Fire Allen. He's compromised. He's a security risk. After those dealings with Jill Kelly, La Libanese, this Lebanese woman, who knows what she represents? God knows. He was in engaging in a tremendously intense email commerce with her. He's been investigated. The Pentagon Inspector General whitewashed him like they whitewashed everything in the past 20 years. No. Out, fire him, let him join once again Petraeus in disgrace outside of the military.
And now here we go, another very, very interesting aspect. Today's uh, editorial, let's see if we can find it. Sorry, it's not, not today, it's Wednesday. Wednesday, November 19th, top editorial, leading editorial, Washington Post. Here we have um, Gates, once again, of the warmonger clique, saying uh, that you will not be able to seriously degrade Islamic State without special operations forces on the ground. Petraeus comes from special operations. Uh, Obama gave them the mission to destroy ISIS, but when you then deny the military the authorities they require to achieve the objective, you leave them with a great sense of frustration. Well, I'm sorry, Gates. We have tr traditional civilian control over the military. General, uh, General Grant got his orders from President Lincoln, and that's a good system. Now, the Washington Post helpfully adds, it's not just the generals who are chafing, but U.S. allies, including Turkey and Qatar, are increasingly uncomfortable with Obama's strategy of training the moderate Syrian rebels in the hope that they will fight the Islamic State, but not weaken Bashar. <laughs> I'm sorry here. Uh, Erdogan is a figure of treachery. The emir of Qatar embodies treachery. We are chafing here. We are chafing. We are really uncomfortable here that Turkey and Qatar continue to support ISIS in every way, with logistics, with the border, with uh, crazies coming in, right? Recruiting of the crazies. Check, uh, check what Tara Dawi says about ISIS on uh, the Arabic language edition of Al Jazeera, not Al Jazeera America, with all those familiar worn faces from CNN, but Tara Dawi. And here's the, here's the interesting thing um, that, that takes us, I think, to a, to a new level. Obama was asked, are you actively discussing ways to remove Assad? Mr. Obama's response was a blunt no. Did you hear that? No, we are not actively discussing ways to remove Assad. Now, we had had denials from Ben Rhodes last week. We had had a number of denials about this policy review that was supposed to lead to the bombing of Assad when Obama was out of town. We took this back to Avril Harriman. We took it back to Al Gore. Uh, Harriman, of course, killing the, uh, giving the, the signal for the coup that killed the Diem brothers in, uh, in uh, South Vietnam in 1963. We had Al Gore bombing Serbia in 1999. They tried it again, and they failed, and Obama said no. We'll give you that in detail now, in a minute, on World Crisis Radio. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Hi, I'm John Rainey, Chief Financial Officer of United Airlines, and I'm honored to be the National Chair for the 2015 March for Babies campaign for the March of Dimes. United is a proud supporter of the March of Dimes mission to improve the health of babies and fight premature birth. We're helping the March of Dimes fund breakthroughs in research and community programs that help more mothers have full-term pregnancies and healthy babies. Please join us in working together for stronger, healthier babies. Visit marchofdimes.org. Hey everyone, my Ghost 80% AR-15 project was a total success. Thank you, Guns80.com. Thank you. I bought my Ghost AR-15 at Guns80.com. It's everything I expected more. Just got a note from my buddy Mark, and now they're having a huge Black Friday and a big Cyber Monday sale. Guess Christmas is coming early this year. I'm definitely ordering one for my brother on Black Friday because the price drops to 400 bucks. Yes, I did just say that. 400 bucks. Unbelievable. At guns80.com, the big sale is on. Begins Friday, November 22nd, and ends December 1st. So hurry now. Sale prices for Ghost ARs again, 400 bucks. 
Black Friday will be a good day. Get your Ghost AR-15 at Guns80.com. Sale is on right now at Guns80.com. That's Guns80.com. Guns and the number 8080.com. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas to everyone from our good friends at Guns80.com. The big sale is on. I'll see you there. The human body is extraordinary. Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon heart and body extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB extract paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body healing itself with the aid of hb extract it's extremely effective and it starts working in just days visit hbextract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers and we've never increased our price in over 10 years that makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it a healthy heart is a happy heart call 866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com this alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right, General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right, that's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic Lows. You can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. GCN. Proudly sponsored by UnseenNow.com. Find out how to stop Big Brother in his tracks at UnseenNow.com. This is GCN. <laughs> Crisis Radio, Webster Topley here in Washington, D.C. Now, you've got to keep up with Topley.net, Topley.net. A lot is happening, and through Topley.net, you can see the Twitter feed, Webster G. Topley, minute by minute, hour by hour, keep in touch. Get marching orders. You want to know what to do? You want to know how to intervene in the world? We'll be glad to uh, to facilitate that, and we are grateful for uh, the attention and support that we have uh, received, right? The Twitter feed is approaching um, 17,500 followers, I guess. Followers, people who want to stay in touch. That's not my term. That's their term. Um, Obama and Syria. So there has been this drive to use these trips, right? The trip to Beijing, to Burma, and to the G20 in Brisbane, Australia, and they tried to get bombing going when he was out of town. And his response is no. Now, the Washington Post was complaining about that on Wednesday, November 19th. Let's go and see the underlying article, which our intelligence service here has uh, found for us. And this is at the Convention and uh, Exhibition Center, Brisbane, Australia, on November 16th. Earlier this week, uh, in the afternoon, as Obama was getting ready to uh, to leave, so uh, it's a question series from Kristen Welker, and uh, she wants to know about Syria. Um, are in the question she's asking: Is there, in fact, a policy review? And again, that had been denied by Ben Rhodes. Now it's going to be denied by Obama. So that should uh, be pretty clear. Uh, she says, Kristen Mulker, question to Obama. Are you currently recalibrating your policy in Syria? Does that include plans to remove Bashar al-Assad? Was it a miscalculation not to attack Ob uh, Assad earlier? Thank you. Okay, Obama says, 
I think he's saying, I watch this stuff very carefully. I'm watching you. You purchased golpisti officers in the U.S. military, you seditious, insubordinate generals of the Petraeus stripe. We have a 